Carolina Oliveira, a business administrator, never imagined she would swap her car for an e-bike. But one month ago, she decided it was time to commute on two wheels. She spent around $2,000 on her bike and doesn't regret it. I'm saving around $1,000 per month with the e-bike if I add up costs with insurance, parking, maintenance, time and mainly fuel. It was the best decision I ever made. She is far from alone. Thousands of Brazilians are turning to e-cycling. The demand is even causing inventory shortages. Rodrigo Afonso, co-founder of an e-bike company, says he's both excited and concerned as the waiting list for his e-bikes keeps growing. We are selling more bikes than we have to deliver. Uh, so we, are, we see it as a good problem. But we don't want to have this problem, even though, because we want to deliver as many bikes as people are trying to buy. According to Aliança Brasil, Brazil's Bicycle Association, sales of e-bikes across Brazil were up more than 27% in 2021 from the previous year. Market forecasts suggest e-bike sales could grow an additional 50% this year. And with soaring fuel prices, bikes in general and e-bikes are becoming one of the most popular means of transportation in Brazil especially here in Rio de Janeiro, a city that has a cycling network of around 450 kilometers. Most of the bike lanes were built in the run-up for the 2016 Summer Olympics, anticipating a boom that started during the pandemic. That's when many people reconsidered their means of moving around. But even tourists remain concerned about safety. The only thing I feel is that there should be more education because people like me who use it every day, I see at least one accident every week. And I feel that they have more education for new riders, especially for pedestrians when crossing the roads. It could help prevent accidents. But despite these day-to-day perils, Carolina is determined to continue her e-bike commute because, as she says, it is not only wallet-friendly, but a healthy and green alternative. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.